Hey guys, got everybody's attention here. Can you guys uh, come over this way? We're just, I'm just going to give a little presentation. <laughs> come on over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Back here somewhere. Yeah. Because we're tall. Yeah. 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 Oh, OCM, see how you? Um, I'm really happy uh, today that uh, you came out to take a, a stand for wild salmon. The reason why we're here today is because we love wild salmon, that magnificent creature, that magnificent gift to, uh, to British Columbia and the world. Wild salmon supports uh, our uh, bears, our eagles, our seals, the wolves, and they support us as human beings, as the two leggings. And they support a really rich uh, part of uh, BC's economy. That is the uh, sports fishing industry, it's the uh, ecotourism, Aboriginal fisheries, and also the food industry here. And uh, without wild salmon, we would, uh, BC would be a much different place. We have, uh, we are at a critical point. We are truly at the, the tipping point of losing our wild salmon. Make no mistake, wild salmon is an endangered species. And we're here to protect wild salmon. So the province of British Columbia has the trump card. That is the province that can uh, revoke or approve the leases uh, for uh, the Norwegian aquaculture industry to operate their open net feedlots that are spewing pathogens, uh, sewage, and diseases into the migration routes of our wild salmon. And they're killing our wild salmon. They're weakening their, their, their immune systems. More recently, the uh, uh, government, the federal government approved uh, the release of uh, some 500,000 uh, Atlantic salmon into the pens that were infected with the Piscine Rio virus. So that, that escalates and increases the danger of uh, our wild salmon going into uh, extinction and it must be prevented. So the stakes are very high. It is in 2013 that the open net fish, uh, fish feedlots must be removed from the uh, coastal waters of British Columbia. And we also promote them to be removed from the eastern coast as well because the lobsters are being threatened over there. But uh, as we uh, look into the uh, positions of the, uh, uh, of the different parties, we see the Liberal Party. They're the ones who approve uh, the uh, release of these uh, Piscine uh, real virus infected salmon into the feedlots more recently. They've taken a position not to uh, renew any more leases or, or allow any more new, new leases in the uh, Discovery Islands, but that's not really good enough because the existing ones have to be removed. And um, the NDP has taken the position that they will allow open net feedlot operations to continue until uh, Christy Miller and Brian Riddell complete their study um, on, uh, on diseases that are affecting uh, our wild salmon. And if then it is proven scientifically that the diseases are having a harmful and dangerous effect on uh, wild right. salmon, the NDP has committed to um, to remove the open net feedlots. But that is backwards. That is backwards. I'm proud to uh, have Kim Reamer with, uh, with us today. Uh, Kim Reamer is uh, the green candidate for uh, Chilliwack. Both her and her party uh, have taken a position, a very strong position, that this position the NDP has taken needs to be taken in reverse. The open net feedlots must be taken out before the completion of the studies. 
that uh, Christy Miller and Brian Riddell are going to do on diseases. Then, and only then, will they decide whether or not there is room or it's okay, you know, for open net feedlots to be uh, placed in the, uh, and, uh, in the coastal waters on the migration routes of our Fraser River sockeye. So, um, there is enough evidence already to apply the uh, precautionary principle to do this. And it is the Green Party that has the political will and is willing to be a champion for wild salmon and do the right thing and, ha and move to uh, have those open net feedlots removed as, a, as soon as possible in the year 2015. So my hands go up to the Green Party, my hands go up to Kim for taking a strong stand. She sees this as a Chilliwack issue because wild salmon flow, you know, they, they swim past our, uh, our, our city here. And it, uh, when, they, when they come by our river, it, it really livens up the economy here with the sports fishing industry, uh, ecotourism. And uh, without, without the wild salmon, uh, Chilliwack would be a much different place. So I, uh, I an, an Aboriginal fisheries uh, would be no more. So if we're going to really, really cherish wild salmon and hold it dear to our hearts, we just need to think, what would be the consequences of not having wild salmon anymore? The risks are simply too high. We must get them, those open net feedlots, out of the uh, BC coast in order for us to uh, ensure that future generations are going to benefit from the actions that we take today. OCMCI, thank you very much for coming out today and supporting Wild Salmon.